So in this design file I've placed a couple of nodes and a head wall and linked them with a couple of pipes. And we can see the view of the 2D model at the top and the 3D model at the bottom. I'm going to select the first one of these pipes and from the context toolbar I'm going to open the profile model. Let's just select a view to open that in and we'll click there. I'm going to do the same thing again with the second pipe. So select that second pipe, open the profile model, and again, I'm just going to open it in that same view. I'm not going to close that view. And let's have a look at the 3D model. If I can rotate this model around into the correct position, what we see now is, is that we've got a 3D line string. So the act of opening the profile model for each pipe has created the 3D line string for that pipe. And you can see that line string for each pipe there. And if we have a look at the properties of one of these line strings, we can see that it is indeed a 3D string with the start and end coordinates and elevations. And these strings could be exported back to a native application for inclusion in a terrain model.